The New Orleans Pelicans showed glimpses of how good they could be last season when they got into the play-in and defeated the Clippers to get the 8th seed. And as the 8th seed, they were able to put up a valiant effort against the 64-win Suns. Since then, the vibes have been great, as the Pelicans will now have Zion Williamson and TJ McCollum for full seasons, hopefully, next to budding superstar Brandon Ingram, defensive standout Herbert Jones, and a bench full of hungry role players like Jose Alvarado and Trey Murphy III. The national media is starting to notice what the Pelicans are building, as the Pelicans were recently featured in a segment of First Things First which named them as the friskiest team in the NBA. Now, frisky has a lot of meanings. So to clarify, they're talking about a team that doesn't have established expectations and could be much better than people expect. The New Orleans Pelicans are one of those teams that could very well make a big leap, and there are good reasons why. Before we continue on with this video, if you can kindly smash that like button, it does help the algorithm a ton and makes this video get out to other people. Also, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell so you never miss uploads like these. We're almost at 27k subscribers, so it'd be great if we can hit that. So why will the Pelicans have success this season? Well, there are many different reasons why. And we're first going to start with the first reason, their team chemistry. As the first things first segment talked about, the Pelicans are developing some of the best team chemistry in the league right now. These guys genuinely like each other, as we saw recently when most of the Pelican starters were all cheering on the summer league team. Brandon Ingram was there when Jose Alvarado signed his contract, and the players have been working out together all offseason long. Chemistry matters in the NBA, and the Pelicans have it both on and off the court. The next reason why this team will succeed is their defense. The Pelicans have a chance to really be good defensively this season. They improved drastically in that department last season and will now have a more seasoned Herb Jones and Jose Alvarado, an improved Trey Murphy III, a whole season of veteran Larry Nance Jr., and a coach in Willie Green who is going to continue to preach defense first. When you add rookie Dyson Daniels, another long versatile player who excels defensively, the Pelicans are going to be a headache on the defensive end. They are going to get a lot of steals, have a lot of fast breaks, and are going to be one of the more entertaining teams in the NBA to watch. But it all will start on the defensive end. And then the last and biggest reason why this Pelicans team will be successful and make a jump this season is the obvious. It is the return of Zion Williamson who will not only be healthy for the first time in a while, but he is going to have a lot of score to settle with people who have already ridden him off. Zion is not much of a talker, but he will make a lot of noise on the court, where he will be a tempting long shot MVP candidate, especially if the Pelicans have team success. Personally, I'm excited to see Zion Williamson back out there on the court. He showed us a lot of good things, and we know if he can stay healthy throughout the course of a season, the sky is the limit to how good Zion Williamson will be. He is still one of the best players under 25, and this could be that season where Zion Williamson truly plays up to his max capabilities. So how big of a leap can this Pelicans team take? Well, you look at the Pelicans, they were eighth last season. So they're going to have to do some climbing in a very tough competitive Western Conference this season. So as of right now, I put the New Orleans Pelicans ahead of these teams. There are eight teams that are either young, rebuilding, or lost key players this offseason, and these teams include the Houston Rockets, who do have an intriguing group of young talent for sure, but they're still ways away. The same with the OKC Thunder. You got the Portland Trail Blazers. They're expected to make a bit of a jump, but will it be enough? You got the Sacramento Kings. The Kings did make a big trade last season and added rookie Keegan Murray along with a trio of shooters, but they are still the Kings, and until they prove to me otherwise, I'm not putting any stock in this team. You got the Los Angeles Lakers, who have way too many question marks to take seriously. You got the Utah Jazz, as they traded away Rudy Gobert and are reportedly listening to offers for Donovan Mitchell, so this could be a year where they take a step back. And then you got the San Antonio Spurs, who are in full rebuild mode after trading away DeJounte Murray. So these are all teams I expect the Pelicans to be better than. Then you got the top three teams of the conference, who I believe will be the Warriors, Clippers, and Suns. These are teams I don't see the Pelicans 
eclipsing just yet. So that leaves the Pelicans battling in this group for a top four spot. And the group includes the Dallas Mavericks, coming off of a Western Conference appearance, the Mavs and Luka are always deemed as a threat. The Denver Nuggets, they will still have two-time MVP Nikola Jokic, and if Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. are healthy, they will be a contender. The Memphis Grizzlies, so far, the Grizzlies will be running it back with more or less the same squad that claimed the second seed last season. And the Grizzlies are still a very good team with solid chemistry, and they have a chance to get better. And then finally, the Minnesota Timberwolves. The Timberwolves made the biggest splash of this offseason, adding Rudy Gobert to a team that was pretty good last season. Will he gel with Carl Anthony Towns? Will Anthony Edwards make another leap and become a legitimate superstar? This is another team in the Timberwolves that could make a huge jump this season and become a contender. Realistically, I see the Pelicans being a top six team this season and avoiding the plane altogether with the potential to be a fourth seed when it's all said and done. Now this in itself would be a huge jump from a season ago where the Pelicans were flirting with a playing spot and then made the playoffs on the final day of the playing tournament. Overall, there's a lot to be excited about in New Orleans as this Pelicans team could very well make a lot of noise this season. We saw in that playoff series in particular against the Phoenix Suns how good this team already is and they are not that far away from taking that next step. I mean, they were pushing the best team in basketball at the time. They brought him to six games, and it really looked like at one point in that series, the Suns were in trouble when going up against this Pelicans team, who, by the way, has an amazing fan base, and that is gonna be another intriguing factor in all of this, as the Pelicans have one of the best home court advantages in the NBA. So this is how I see the Pelicans stacking up this season in the Western Conference. I do expect them to take a leap. I do expect them to take that next step, and I do think all their young talent will continue to get better and gel. Now, the biggest thing will be Zion Williamson's health. If Zion Williamson can stay healthy, if Zion Williamson can be out there on the court, and if Zion Williamson can play to his capabilities, to his true potential, this Pelicans team will be downright scary. Do you think the Pelicans will take a leap. And how big of a leap do you see them making in, again, a very tough, crowded Western Conference? There's going to be a lot of teams that are going to be battling for key positions in the West. You're going to have some bottom feeding teams that are going to be much better than they were a season ago. And then you're going to have some intriguing teams that could very well make that major leap. And I think the Pelicans will be one of those teams. But how do you see things shaping up in the West? Do you see the Pelicans as a legit team taking a legit leap? Let me know in the comment section down below. Again, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't new. Plus, ring the bell for more NBA offseason content just like this. I will be doing some videos on other NBA teams along with the Raptors who I cover closely on this channel. And you definitely don't want to miss any videos that I got in store for all of you. That is it for me. As always, thank you so much for watching. This is Luca Rosano signing off. I'll catch you all again in the next video.